In 1994, we were regaled with famous words of wisdom from Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know which one you're going to get. But what if you could? What if, without ever opening the box, you could peek inside, see the chocolates, and decide which one you wanted? Well, with magnetic resonance spectroscopy, that's possible. If you imagine placing a sealed box of chocolates into an MRI scanner, you would get a lot of output information. You could figure out how many chocolates are in the box, the position of the chocolates relative to one another, as well as the shape of the chocolates, but you really wouldn't be able to differentiate the chocolates beyond that. Now, if we place that same box of chocolates into the same scanner, but this time we run a spectroscopy sequence, we would get an output spectra that looks something like this. Now, for those of us who had the pleasure of taking an introductory organic chemistry class, would recall hydrogens in a molecule respond differently to a magnetic field based on their chemical environment. So using this background chemistry knowledge, we can analyze the spectra and determine that the peaks seen here are from hydrogens in an ethanol molecule. So we would know that the third chocolate from the right on the bottom row is one of those wine-filled chocolates. Now this is a super expensive way for figuring out what chocolates are in a box that we could easily just open. But what about those boxes we can't open? Boxes like the brain. MRS in the brain allows us to determine chemical composition in different areas of the brain in a completely non-invasive way, somewhat like a virtual biopsy. We're able to observe changes in brain chemistry that occur as a result of illness or in response to therapy. My project uses MRS to observe changes in brain chemistry that take place following transcranial direct current stimulation, or TDCS as it's more commonly known. TDCS is a form of non-invasive brain stimulation that's been associated with learning and increased memory. Currently at the Alberta Children's Hospital, TDCS is being investigated as a clinical therapy to enhance motor learning in children with cerebral palsy caused by perinatal stroke. Outside of its applications in my project, TDCS has a lot of potential as a therapeutic tool, but until we can better identify exactly what changes TDCS is causing in the brain, we can't safely recommend it as a treatment. My project will use MRS to observe changes in brain metabolites taking place in children following transcranial direct current stimulation in an attempt to better define the effects of TDCS. This has never been done in a pediatric population. My project will allow us to improve TDCS as a therapeutic tool and also better select patients who are likely to experience a positive outcome from stimulation. We can peek inside the box without ever breaking the seal. Thank you.